Not many people know the story and they absolutely should. On the morning of February 13th, 2017, the Kuala Lumpur airport in Malaysia was busy with people eager to get to their gates and board their flights. Among the crowd was this Asian man around 45 years old. He goes to one of the kiosks to print out his boarding pass when something bizarre happens. A woman comes up behind him and places her hands over his eyes like she's playing peekaboo. Before the man could get his bearings as to what happened, another woman comes up behind him and does the exact same thing. The man is naturally discombobulated and starts to make his way to a bathroom, but then he sees a security officer and tells him what happened. Outside the security office, the man starts to slump over. He is dead within the hour. That man is Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, who's been in power since 2011. But what actually killed Kim Jong-nam? It's a nerve agent called VX. According to the CDC, VX is the most toxic chemical warfare agent ever created. A single drop on your skin is lethal. It's so dangerous that the last remaining stockpiles in America were destroyed and its use is banned internationally. But VX doesn't just kill you, it hijacks your nervous system in the most insidious way possible. Your body relies on a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine to make your muscles contract. Normally, an enzyme like acetylcholinesterase breaks down at lightning speed. The X shuts down that enzyme permanently. It flips every acetylcholine receptor to the on position and just leaves them there. Imagine every muscle in your body contracting and never stopping. The worst part is when authorities searched Kim Jong-nam's body, they found at least a dozen doses of atropine in his bag, which incidentally is the antidote to VX poisoning. So this raises the question, did he know he was going to be attacked or was he just prepared for any scenario? But the biggest question is, if these two women were handling one of the most deadliest nerve agents in the world, why didn't they die? And why was it absolutely critical to the plan to have two women? That's why they say the devil is in the details. The compound used wasn't actually VX, but something called VX2, a binary form of VX that was chemically split into two separate harmless compounds. Each woman was given one half of the poison, but when the first woman pressed her hands to Kim Jong-un's face, she added compound one. And when the second woman did the same, she added compound two. Together, the compounds merged on Kim Jong-un's face, forming VX instantaneously. And from there, the clock was ticking for him. These women were part of a mega assassination plot totally unbeknownst to them. They were told they were filming a prank video for a Japanese TV show. To this day, none of the eight North Korean agents involved were held accountable for their actions. Instead, these two young women spent two years in prison for a murder they didn't even know they were committing. That is the airport assassination of Kim Jong-nam, a prank gone horribly wrong.